Well, welcome to the 14th hole at uh, Bristol Harbor Lodge and Golf Club, the Robert Trent Jones designed course. I'm going to talk today about how we're going to play this uh, hole here. This is our signature hole here at Bristol Harbor, and it can be difficult if you've never played it before. Uh, right in front of me, I can see that the fairway is out there, but I can't see the green. But I do see that there is a 150 yardage marker out there. And a good uh, on these blind shots where you can't see the green, it's always good to go uh, towards a, a marker such as that. If you get it inside 150, you know your next shot's going to be in great shape. But one thing I want you to think of uh, when you're teeing off on this hole is where you tee it off on the tee box. I can see just from the divot patterns alone that most players tee off on the right side of the tee box. I'm actually going to be teeing off on the left side of the tee box, and that's going to try to eliminate the left side of the hole, which if you hit it left on this hole, uh, you're pretty much dead because you're not even going to be able to get to the green. So I'm going to think about what type of yardage is going to put me inside that 150 yardage marker. And for me, that's a five iron here. And I'm going to try to hit a good shot. All right. So I managed to find the fairway here. And I have about 120 yards into the green. Like I said, keeping it inside that 150 yardage marker. Um, and I kept it off the left side of the hole, which is really the dangerous area because you're not going to be able to get to the green. So I have a clear shot. Uh, as you can see, this green is surrounded by bunkers around the back. Um, so you can actually roll it up to the green uh, if you hit a lower shot, which is what I'm going to try to do. Um, we do have about a 50-foot elevation change from here. So for that, I'm going to factor in about a one to one and a half club uh, less in yardage. So I'm going to be hitting a gap wedge here. And I just want to make sure I'm keeping it a little bit below the hole. I don't want to um, bring those back bunkers into play. As you can see, I managed to hit it hole high here. I have about a 15 foot putt left for my birdie. This green does uh, have a humpback that runs right down the middle of it. So that makes this putt a little bit more challenging. Ideally, I would have hit it on the, the same side as the cup, which would have left me with a straight uphill putt. Um, so, I mean, when you're thinking about where to place it on the screen, try to either hit it on the right side or the left side so you're avoiding that humpback. Uh, but as, I, I'm, as I'm reading this putt, I can see that it's going to go a little bit up the hill, then a little bit back down the hill with a little bit of left to right break. 